the amount of energy we have to create with essentially comes down to how connected we are to source, how connected we are to our truth, how connected we are to how tapped in we are to the collective energy which in, in turn gives us energy to create with. And the thing is, depending on who you are and how you are living, you might have a limited amount of energy. Well, hello you lovely infinite beings right onto your path of exploring the infinite. Thank you for tuning in to another video of AF's Conscious Frequency. Now, we all need energy in order to create. We are ultimately the creators of our own lives. We are creators by nature god works through us F source energy flows through us and that's how we create our life experience by experience now depending on how you're living and who you are and how tapped and tuned in, in the, the collective energy and to into source you might have a limited amount of energy to create with and that's why you should be careful with how you expend your energy what you should what you should invest your energy in because energy is one altogether you don't have a, a set amount of energy to do a set of activities and another set of energy to carry on your mission and task and purposeful life it's one energy and then you choose how to invest it. You choose what form this energy takes. So, you know, a very good example that might represent this is, do you remember a time where you felt inspired to do one thing that's actually part of your passion, that's actually something that's meaningful and purposeful to you? So you suddenly felt that surge of energy and that motivation, that excitement, that drive. But because you felt that drive and because you got excited, now you're in the mood for so many th other things. Now you are in the mood to, to, to have as much dopamine intake to, to regulate your hormonal, hormonal system as much as possible. So instead of actually investing that surge of energy in whatever inspired it in the first place, you choose to maybe reconnect with old friends, you know, those friends you haven't so you, you, you hang out with friends that you haven't seen in a while because now you are in the mood for it or you are now in the mood for to watch that series that you've been missing out on and then after you've completed those things you go back to the original reason that you got inspired to the original reason you got that excited and that motivated and you find you're not as motivated anymore and the reason is because you have one energy one form of en one energy and you choose how to invest it you choose what form you give to it and at that time you chose to give it to something else rather than use it to per to pursue your purpose or to work on that meaningful thing and the other reason is because now you could you could fight your way you could force your way because your ego will feel guilty you might feel guilty now and you still want to carry out that task that inspired you at the first place you still you still feel guilty and you know you're gonna feel bad unless you carry out that task and then you're gonna force do it and when it's forced it's not the same thing anymore like abraham hicks always says it's not uh, wait till you feel that this thing is going to give you a form of relief whenever you, you you go out and to do something it must be something of relief which is uh, the path of least resistance that she endows very deeply um and that's the thing is so what she says is that you elevate yourself to that alignment first you get to that vibrational frequency first before and whenever you are a match for that thing you're gonna feel that inspiration you're gonna feel that it's 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 very smoothly that you could do it very smoothly it's not chores anymore rather than forcing your way through it and it's going to be chores and the difference is it's not gonna be as good and it's not gonna have the same impact because regardless of what it is when you felt inspired, it was your higher self, your infinite source of energy giving you that inspiration, giving you that intuition because at that moment, if you had done it at that moment, it would have had the best results. It would have come out the best. It would have had the most impact if it's impactful on someone. It would have been the best timing. It could have been the best time of day. It could have been, it would have been the most resourceful. It would have been of much value. 
it's all things this is all part of being connected to your infinite of being connected to your higher self when you're tapped in and connected the whole time then everything is comes in the perfect timing everything you are channeling energy and when you're you when you're when you're living as energy trying to create matter it's much 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 more meaningful and easier and better than living as matter trying to create matter joe dispenza talks about this the whole all the time and so now you you feel and that's why it's very important to 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 be careful with how you expand your energy because if you are not that tapped in if you are connected to your ego very deeply then you have very limited amount of energy but the more you 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 use that energy in your purpose in your connections in your meaningful life the more you have you you receive more energy because you become worthy and you earn that energy and so you're tapping more into source you're flowing more efficiently with your truth with the oneness with what you are called to do in this life with your purpose in this life and that gives you more energy every time everything comes in a very reasonable time it comes when you need it you if you don't need it if you're continuously given energy and you're just wasting it on on whatever you know meaningless things then you're not you don't need that energy any anymore you know it's the same with the concept of having too much to digest on your plate i just done the, the the video about being alone my last video and you know i spoke a little about this and so you have to have space for things to enter into your life if you're filling your life with meaningless things then you don't have space for newer things for better things to enter into your life and it's very similar to this concept with energy it's the same it's the same with everything whether it's energy or material or matter or people or relationships or feelings or emotions the more you are aligned with its truest purest form the more you're going to receive of it and the less you are aligned then the more you have to be conservative with 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 storing it with saving it for very meaningful things rather than just expanding it on and wasting it and so the less connected you are to your ego the more you have you the more it means the more you tap in into the infinite and that means that translates to having a better source a more fluent source fluid source of energy coming into your life the more and you know by connecting to to the infinite could be in many different forms meditation doing yoga and even exercising those are all forms that takes you out of your body that takes you out of your mind you do not become very obsessed with 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 your identifications at all of these moments like you know that i don't remember his name but a very prominent uh, neuroscientist says if you, you if your mind is all over the place if you're you know if you're messed up in your head and you're feeling so down go back to your body because it's harder to control your mind and emotions rather than just you know physical action taking physical form of action and that's going to take you out of your body that's going to take you out of your mind and it's going to give you back control you're doing something that you don't feel like doing and that gives you that sense of control that sense of confidence and that elevates your energy that puts you in a better emotional state better state of being and so you know it could take the form of even connecting in nature of going out in nature taking a walk and you know disconnecting from all of these material distractions from your social media from your phone disconnecting and realizing that you are more than just your mind you are more than your body you are you are a spiritual being by nature and you you are one with this nature the more you feel this grandiose sense in nature of how how amazing things look of how magnificent life is nature is truth is you feel less disconnected less connected to your ego and more connected to source more connected to oneness to the one to all and the more you tap in into this collective energy and the more you receive creative energy to create whatever you desire in life being the ultimate creator of reality and so that's why you have to be to choose wisely what you invest your energy in because ultimately we all have we not many people actually have a infinite amount of energy because not many people have a complete ego death and are very 100% connected and tuned in and tapped in into the infinite truth and the infinite source of energy 
into pure consciousness, into pure being. And so whatever you always remember that energy is one and you give it whatever form you want to. You could choose to spend that energy on, on watching, on entertainment, on watching TV, on watching movies, on entertainment, on going out, hanging out with friends aimlessly, on drinking, on, you know, just wasting your time or using that energy to to indulge in coping high intensity instant pleasure mechanisms to get that dopamine and to feel good without actually pursuing your purpose and pursuing your meaningful life or you could choose to invest it into working on your life and getting yourself to where you want to be or into connecting with your higher self and the more you connect with your higher self the more energy you're going to receive and the more it's going to be a meaningful fulfilling experience in your life that's all for today and i wish you the best thank you for tuning in